Hey, what's up everyone? So for today's video, we're gonna be doing a cupping. It's gonna be my second time doing it of a, of a coffee I just roasted up recently. It's a Pap Papua New Guinea roast. I'm um, really excited to try it. I have three different roasts that I've done. Each were finished and finished at different times and temperatures. So I'm excited to see how the cupping is gonna come out. Um, I currently have I got water on the, on the stove boiling right now. I gotta make sure I grind at a coarse setting because we want the coffee grinds to come out almost similar to how a like a cracked sea salt would be. And that's usually the size they use when coffee cupping. Um, again, this is only my second time doing this, so there's definitely gonna be some errors or flaws along the way. But I think I got the hang of it. We're looking to do an 18 to 1 output or 18 to 1 gram uh, ratio. 18 grams of water to one gram of coffee so i'm going to be shooting for about 180 grams of water to be used in the bowls um with 10 grams of coffee so once this water is all boiled up i'm going to get these guys grind it up and we'll get to cupping so let's get started right, so we'll do these first i've used these the most already in my espresso shots I haven't done any cupping with it yet so Let's get these grinded up. There we go. Those are the beans right there. Hmm. Okay. So we want 10 grams. Okay. That's 11. Good enough right there. Let's see how this comes out. Let's try here. I've never gotten the grind size right when I cupped. Um, if mine was a little more fine than it should have been. So let's see how this comes out. There we go. That looks pretty good. So this is going to be our first one. Yeah, that looks good. Let's see if I can get a smell of it. Mm. So this is going to be our 10 fifth. So the first one we did was a 11 minute roast that I finished at 418. So for the next one, we're going to be doing 10 minutes, 50 seconds. Look pretty good. Let's get it measured up. Couple more. Drop these in there. Ten. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna grind that up. That's ten right there. Again, nice and coarse. That's how we want it in our bowls. When cup we have our eight minute and 44 eight minute 44 second roasted coffee at 420 these are what the beans look like and we get it two perfect all right and let's get this grinded up All right, so while we have the water boiling, this is kind of the breakdown. Got each of the beans in. Um, each <laughs> roasts notes the decipher which is which. Um, and we have our water cup here. This will be my tasting spoon, my little faux spoon. And then I have these spoons here to break up the crust. Um, so we're still waiting. It should be done soon. And when it is, what I'll do is I'll put the bowl on here, tear it out, and then pour in water until it gets to about 180. Um, I'm going to do my best to get an exact measurement. It's going to be tough only because of the, uh, the mouth on the kettle. It's pretty big, so it's going to be coming out pretty quick, and I'm going to do my best to... Uh, 
pour it in as pour it in as accurately as possible. But water is boiling, so let's get this poured out. All right, there we go. I'm gonna do my absolute best here. Tear it. Come on, Nikki P. There we go. Let's tear. We're gonna go. Almost there. Oh, oh, that's a little higher. Oh, you need to tear this out. There we go. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. One, that's good. That is perfect. Okay, let me get these all set up. I got my timer on. And let's let this do its magic. I'll check back in at the th four minute mark from when we have to break the crust. All right, we're about three minutes in. The crusts should pretty much be ready to be broken up. I th I'm pretty sure this one's the weakest of the three. Um, but then again, I have way too big of... Uh, cupping bowls quote unquote so i'm going to try to break these up as best as i can and uh get tuned back in afterwards all right got the crust broken up um but yeah sloppy uh sloppy crust breaks and that's only because the bowl is huge like i definitely need something a little smaller but you know what you make do with what you got so let's see Let's give this another couple minutes to say three minutes and then um, we'll get to some uh, some tastings. All right. All right. So that's four minutes. That's 10 minutes total. I think we're ready to start our cupping. All right. So we have our three coffees here. Um, so the coffee beans I use are from Bodhi Leaf Trader Company. I'm pretty sure it's called. Um, they're called. It's a Papua New Guinea Taimutsa organic coffee bean that I've gotten. Obviously from the Papua New Guinea region um this roast here to the left is gonna be our 418 degree finish uh a total of 11 minute roast um it was done on the 29th of may so it has been some time uh hopefully that doesn't skew any of the results up but let's give this a go and see how how it turns out um i have a pho spoon or a ramen spoon. I don't know if this is going to be the best spoon. I'm going to... I'm going to you know what? Let's just play it safe. I have a little... I have a tablespoon here. Let's uh, let's go to... Let's get some done. Let's get a tasting done. What do I taste in that? I'm not exactly sure. Let's get a let's get a, a ram going over here. Okay, so this second one is going to be a ten minute, ten minute fifty second roast at a four hundred twelve degree finish of that same Papua New Guinea coffee. Um, let's see if we can at least catch a difference between the first and the second. I couldn't really taste anything that was so pronounced in the first bowl. Let's see if there's anything different here. Okay, I definitely taste more fruit in this. Let me see. It's definitely fruitier. I can't really nail what that fruit taste is exactly, but um, definitely way more pronounced. Uh, that's actually pretty nice. 
Okay, and this is our eight minute, 44 second roast here on the right uh, at a 420 degree finish. So a little darker. Let's see what we can taste. Okay, you get, you definitely get way more, you get a lot more fruit than the first. I want to say almost as much as, as the second, but one thing that is more pronounced here is you get more of that like dark chocolatey taste, like that raw cacao taste. Um, really, really good. So far, I, I would say the second and the third are, the, are way more developed in terms of complexity. Yeah, that way more on the cacao side of it. Let's go back to the first year. I think the one challenge I'm facing right now and I'm literally experiencing it is because of how big the mouths of the bowls are, it's allowing so much heat to escape. So my first sip that I had was actually like lukewarm, which it's kind of a bummer, but it's all right. At the end of this. That's so interesting. I really don't taste much. I don't know. It's almost like it's almost like it's more bland. Like it's more watery. I'm not sure. Maybe my ratio was screwed up. It looked like it was pretty spot on. Yeah. Definitely way more flavor in the second, in that 10 minute, 50 second roast. Mmm. It's good. I, 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 I don't know. Maybe the second one's my favorite one. Yeah, you could definitely taste the balance between fruit cake, which I feel like is pretty forward on the tongue. And then it, it, I, I feel like it definitely starts to have the cacao in it, that, like a cacao taste, like overtake the rest of the of the tasting profile mm, i forgot i got a meal then yeah the third one's good i think the third one will definitely be way better as an espresso um generally speaking because espresso you want more of that darker uh roast to be used um it's good i like it I'm gonna if I had to rank them so far, I would say the second is my absolute favorite. Third uh, is my second favorite. First is the worst. What are you gonna do? You know that's the run. <laughs> uh, I think the biggest challenge here was it was just more watery. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna be interested in seeing how it does as an espresso. Um, so that'll be probably my next video I'll record tomorrow. Um, but that's going to be it for today. Uh, I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, I think for my, the next time I do a cupping, maybe I'll see if I could find like uh, actual cups to be used um, to get a better experience, I would say. Uh, but other than that, I uh, appreciate y'all. There you go. This is my Austin coming out. Appreciate you all uh, tuning in um, and stay tuned for my next one. It'll be a, a, an espresso tasting of... Um, this roast right here. We're gonna do our 11 minute roast, 418 degree finish of the Papua New Guinea Kaimutsa organic uh, roast that I have. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.